The most important decision that anyone will make is to, the decision to follow Christ. We want to encourage people to do that. Of course, there's so many things that lead up to that decision. Someone will maybe decide to go to church this day. They may decide to pick up a Bible and start searching. Maybe a friend invites them. But we want to be the church that influences their spiritual journey. We want to preach the Bible to them. We want to be authentic, genuine Christians and be hospitable in welcoming them to the Edmund Church of Christ. The decision that that person makes when they come through this door or through our doors may determine how much further they go in that development of a faith. Of course, from those front doors, we will have to guide, direct, and treat those people and invite them into a warm atmosphere of our auditorium. For you and me, we have lots of friends here. For them, it might as well be empty because they don't know hardly anyone. And maybe they won't know anyone. That's where our section greeters and our section host will come in. Each one will be in that area and as time goes on, the months ahead, you will learn everyone in your area. We want to encourage them to feel comfortable. We want to offer any kind of help we can to make them feel at home, to embrace them the way that Christ would. What we will do is change the way of our attendance. For many of those in sections that would sit on the front row, there are no cards for them to fill out. And that's a significant number in this auditorium in the different sections. And instead of having a card here, or to reach around here, we have a welcome book. I'll tell you more about what's in the welcome book soon. What I do want you to know is, we're going to have a time, just after the contribution, to be able to have them fill in the welcome book, both members and guests. It'll take just a brief amount of time to fill in the information. As they fill in the information, they will put the pen back in, pass it on to the next person. Each family will do that until it reaches that end. When it's completed, the person at that end passes it back. And as each person gets it back, they'll be able to look and know everyone else's name on that pew so they are able to greet them by name and know whether they are a guest or a member here at the Edmund Congregation. Then at the end of that time, there will, the section host will collect the books and take them to the back to be collected there together. Each welcome book has a number of items. There'll be a pen. There'll be a members pad where members can put their name, their first names, also any kind of change of address, cell phone numbers, email. Then a place to check for the number attending Monday night for the master. Put their number there. On the guest side is the green side. We have a place for them to put that they're a first time guest or a returning guest, their last name, their first names, and their city and address, phone number and email, and the age group that they fall in. Also you will find a place for a prayer card and information. They can write their prayer requests, tell us whether they want the elders only to see this and pray for them, the ministers, also any prayer group. On the other side they will be able to request information in a number of areas. Of course, they'll put their name and their phone number and email for us to contact them. They can request an individual Bible study. Or they can also ask for information in specific areas like children's ministry, youth ministry, campus ministry, singles and young adults ministry, as well as our seniors ministry and Spanish ministry, or more information on something else, and they can write that in here. These cards will then be taken to the ministry center, information center, and be able to get more info or place it in a box to get information. The primary reason for changing to this format is many congregations in Kansas, Missouri, Arkansas, and Texas are using this method to great success. Some have four to five times as many guests who sign these books. Because of the welcome books are a warm way for them to share their information with us, we're able to follow up 
and welcome them personally, again, making another contact with them, hopefully encouraging them to come back again at a time and worship more with us. Also, if we can answer questions for them, we want to embrace them, show them the love of God, showing that our hospitality reflects the love of Jesus in our hearts.